Welcome everyone to a brand new video, another fantastic vlog. I want to express my appreciation for your time watching the videos. Don't forget to watch my videos from three or four months ago. I, it will help you understand the videos coming up in August. Let's get started on today's topic. Today's video is about a horrifying event in Mexico back in 2014, the Ayotzinapa murder of 43 students to, to that investigation involving 43 students who disappeared this September 26, 2021 marks the seventh anniversary of this forced disappearance from the normal rural in Ayotzinapa, in the state of Guerrero, Mexico. It was, it has caused massive protests in the country and a wave of solidarity around the world. Family members have not stopped looking for their children. One of the most symbolic episodes of human rights violation in the recent history of Mexico. They were allegedly taken into custody by the local police officers from Copula and Iguala in cooperation with organized crime. The official version, they were supposedly cremated in a garbage dump a group of experts appointed by the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights determined that this was not possible. According to the official reports, the students annually commanded, commanded the 1968 Tlatelolco massacre. Police attempted to intercept several buses using roadblocks and firing weapons. Following a summer of increasingly large demonstrations protesting against the 1968 um, Olympics held in Mexico City, the armed forces opened fire on October 2nd or October 2, 1968 on unarmed civilians, killing an undetermined number in the hundreds. It occurred in Plaza de las Culturas, like part of the three cultures, roughly translated. In what considered part of the Mexican Dirty War, when the U.S. government backed pre regime violently repressed political and social opposition. The massacre occurred 10 days before the Olympic opening ceremonies. Details remain unclear on what happened during, during and after the roadblock. We're talking again about Ayotzinapa. The government's investigation concluded all 43 students were taken into custody and were handed over to local Guerreros Unidos, United Warriors, Crime Syndicate, and probably killed. So why would the police do this once they have the students? The official version from the federal government of Mexico is disputed conducted a six-month investigation in 2015. They stated that the government's claim was scientifically impossible, that the students could have been killed in a garbage dump because they were mistaken by drug gang members. Authorities also come, uh, claimed that Iguala Mayor Jose Luis Abarca Velasquez, a member of the Party of Democratic Revolution uh, PRD, masterminded the adoption with his wife, Maria de los Angeles Pineda Villa. The mayor and wife wanted to prevent the Normalistas students from disturbing or disrupting uh, events held in the city. However, neither of them was put on trial for the for the students' disappearance. Both fled 
after the incident. The mayor and wife were arrested about a month later in Mexico City for the murder of activist Arturo Hernandez Cardona. While as police chief Felipe Flores Velasquez was also arrested in Iwala on October 21st. 2016. The mass kidnapping ha was, has caused continued international protests and social unrest, leading to the investigation of Guerrero Governor Angel Aguirre Rivero, Rivero in the face of statewide demonstrations October 23rd, 2014. On November 7th, 2014, the Mexica, Mexican Attorney General Jesus Murillo Caram gave a press conference. He announced that several plastic bags had been found by a river in Cocula, Guerrero, containing Cocula, Guerrero, containing human remains, possibly those of the missing students. At least 80 suspects have been arrested in the case, 44 whom were police officers. Two students have been confirmed dead after their remains were identified by the Austria-based University of Innsbruck. Other sources allege a government cover-up. It's very obvious, right? The police uh, being so close to Guerreros Unidos, uh, the mayor, everybody, the entire government, even Peña Nieto. In June 2020, Jose Angel Casarubias, aka El Muchomo, was arrested. El Muchomo, leader of the United Warriors Cartel and brother of Yeld, former United Warriors leader. Cid Cidronio Casarubias is suspected of being responsible for the adoptions and ordering the murder of the adopted students. Another issue that has gained relevance over the, the years is the assortment of security forces Involved, involved in the attack. It was not only the Iwala and Cocula police who uh, coordinated with Guerreros Unidos as corporations were directly involved in the attack and disappearance of the students. A case of the Uitsuko police. Others avoided acting knowing the normally students were already in danger in the case of the federal police. So the federal police constrained themselves saying these guys are already over their head. There's no need for us to get involved. But they were supposed to get involved. And then there is the army whose role remains blurry. Military patrols the, the streets before, during and after the attack and never helped the students or the boys. Huh? Some students even reported that the military intimidated them after the first attack when taking refuge in a hospital. The Ministry of Defense has resisted collaborating with investigators in recent years. The relationship was complicated, but now they have decided to open access to the archives under his protection over the last three months, according to sources close to the investigation consulted in the previous month. Okay. Current President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador has been essential for the Army to yield. Investigators have had access to documents from the Wada and Telohuapan battalions, as well as archives of the area and the military region. The documents found there could help shed light to what took place on the night of the attack. 
in September 2020, the government announced it was seeking the arrest and extradition of Thomas Theron, one of the authors of the official historical truth, which has been widely rejected by the students' families. The Raul Isidro Burgos Rural Teachers College in Ayotzinapa, founded in 1926, is an all-male school that has historically been associated with student activism, notorious Mex Mexican teacher and guerrilla leader Lucio Cabañas study in this school. Guerrero teachers, including the students from Ayotzinapa, are known for their militant and radical protests that often involve hijacking buses and delivery trucks. The appropriation of the vehicles was, according to the students, routine and temporary. Most of the buses have usually returned, are usually returned after the protests conclude. This tactic is primarily tolerated by law enforcement, even though it is inconvenient for their public transport users. In June 30, 2020, Alejandro Hertz Manero, Attorney General, announced in a conference the end of the historical truth created during the previous administration by obtaining arrest warrants, including a request for a red card to Interpol for the arrest of Thomas Theron from Lucio, ex-head of the criminal criminal investigation agency. The president of Mexico, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, urged Israel on Thursday to respond to the extradition request on the former director in chief of the criminal investigation agency, AIC. Thomas Aron on charges of allegedly manipulating evidence in there has not yet been a response made the government of Israel act with respect on human rights because the extradition of the public official is being requested, among other things, for acts of torture. President Manuel López Obrador spoke about the article published by the U.S. media that's, that cites anonymous sources to reveal that Israel has stopped the extradition process of Ceron in response to Mexico voting in favor of investigating human rights violations in Palestine. The head of state indicated that Secretary of Foreign Relations Marcelo Ebrard had sent a note to Israeli embassy to learn about the integrity of the version released by the U.S. press. The government of Israel replied that this version did not correspond to the official position of the case. Ron is linked in the disappearance of the 43 normalist students from Ayosinapa and for being the alleged person in charge of contracting espionage services with recently uncovered through the Pegasus spy program, the entity would have intervened in the communication of at least 15,000 politicians, activists, journalists during the six-year term of former President Enrique Peña Nieto from 2012 to 2018. Thank you, my cyber family, for reaching this point in the video. Don't forget to share this video supporting the 43 students who lost their lives in commemoration of those killed uh, at the October 2nd, 1968 Olympics in Mexico City. When will, when will they learn that truth cannot be silent? Don't forget, my friends and cyber family, to help someone in your community as you may be the only one who does. As the próximo video, familia y amigos cibernéticos. Chao, chao, for now.